Saturday night. Yeah, Muse were unreal, absolutely unreal. Um, you know, they, you don't you don't get the label of one of the best live bands in the world for no reason. Uh, they pulled off an awesome show. Really was, you know, spectacular. actually came back on stage on the encore, they were joined by um, the guitarist, The Edge, I think his name is, from from U2, um, which was really, really cool, and they played uh, one of U2's songs as well, the Streets of No Name. Thing, considering you two had to pull out, so yeah, it was uh, it was it was good way to finish Saturday, and you know it was topping topping the festival was one of the, one of my favourite moments. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess, what a mess. Bacon mate, have some carling, sort you right out. No, we've had one too many of those already mate. I wasn't even that drunk then either. Shit. What happened to the bit? Oh, he's having such a wet Bows! Yes! Oh, I'm so wet! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Let's go! I don't remember any of that, but it's fucking really lean. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> What's right, the nose front? Has he just pissed himself? <laughs> no, I'm trying to drink some water. He took a shower. <laughs> you ready? <really? laughs> he fucking pissed himself. <laughs> One thing that was really quite cool as well was the new Block 9. I know Finn was really impressed with that. The, some of you eagle-eyed viewers might, might recognise Finn uh, from the Road Trip series. Yeah, he, he really enjoyed it. It was, um, you know, with the cars coming out the buildings and the subway train thing coming out the building. So yeah, it was, uh, it was really cool. Shangri-La! Shangri-La! One thing I really love about Glastonbury is discovering new people, finding new artists, new bands that you haven't heard of, and you go and see them, and then they're like, you just blow you away. Um, one guy I actually went to see with mate Dave, uh, we went to see Fionn Regan, uh, I think he's an Irish guy, uh, folk singer, really, really, really good. Um, he played to a tiny crowd um, on the park stage because because the England game was on at the same time. So yeah, we went and watched him, and he was he was he was really good, really impressed by him. Definitely going to check out some of his stuff. Jack Johnson in the sunshine, yeah, yeah, brilliant. I love Jack Johnson. Um, he's been one of my favourites ever since I heard some of his first stuff. He's brilliant. Didn't let me down. Really, really good live. Um, everyone kind of enjoyed him. Even the people that weren't really that into him kind of just enjoyed the chill out and the sunshine. As, uh, as we wait for Stevie, so yeah. We come. 
uh, after JJ was Faithless. Um, yeah, uh, Faithless were good. They're not one of my favourites. I mean, they got some good tunes, got some good beats, some good club stuff. Insomnia was insane. We come one. It was just awesome at the end. You got everyone. You got the whole crowd involved in We Come One. We come one! So it was. Uh, it was really, really, really good. Really, really, really good. I keep saying that over and over again, but it was. The whole festival was amazing. Stevie Wonder, yeah, what, what a legend, he was fucking awesome, he really, really was, I was really surprised by Stevie, I mean, I, I knew he was headliner, I knew he was going to be good anyway, but what a character, what a fucking legend on stage, he was, he was mint. Got, got the crowd involved, was cracking jokes, was you know doing all this stuff, it was, it was wicked and obviously his songs were good and he was brilliant live, what more could you ask for? Sunday was just was just wicked, you know. With Jack Johnson, followed by Favors, followed by Stevie Wonder, it was just a just a wicked kind of kind of way to roll roll close a, a brilliant weekend, um, or a brilliant five days for us. Favorite performance from the festival? Gotta be Mumford. Mumford and Sons, they were just uh, amazing. I rushed over to see them live, missed missed the first first five minutes or so, but but saw the majority of the set, and it was uh, it was just it was just wicked, you know, really really good. They got the whole crowd going, uh, everybody was loving it. The drum peel stage was absolutely packed, and they and they, they all seemed kind of overwhelmed by how many people had actually come to see them, and uh, and how how you know how how much power there was in the crowd, how much energy there was just 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 to see them play so it was it was really good i was really impressed by them they were the best band i've seen live in in a, in a while what people don't realize about glastonbury is that it's absolutely huge whether you're into pop rock folk indie dance electro r&b rap or whatever there's something there for everybody i think that's why people rate it as, as the best festival, better than Leeds, Reading, V, whatever, because because uh, it's, it's, the whole experience as a whole is, is better. You got so much to see and do. Glass down in and rain, night one drop. Overall, absolutely brilliant festival. Loved every minute of it, and can't wait to do it again. Hopefully, we'll be back next year for third year running. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed being there. <laughs> so yeah, cool. Catch you in a bit. I'm sweating a lot. Ah, oh, it's a warm day. Milk was a bad choice. Whether you're into rock, rock. Whether you're into rock, pop, rap, indie, folk, folk, blah, blah, blah. The request of one of my friends, Miss Emma Compton. Um, I went to see C6 Steve. C6 Steve. C6. C6 Steve. Yeah.